So I actually just picked up something over in LA right now from a buddy of mine, Clint, and uh, just want to show you guys real quick. So here is the unboxing. I haven't opened it yet. Yo. Check it out, guys. Holy crap. Official unwrap, unbox right now. I'm so hyped for this. Damn, that's actually really Damn. nice. Damn! Okay, this looks way better in person than it does in photos. <laughs> Guys, this is actually the Bride Zieg. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Bride Zieg 4. This is the newest model. Um, doesn't expire until 2025, I believe. And uh, this, I got this one instead of the Bride Zeta because it's actually the more comfortable version. Um, the seat bolstering aren't as high compared to the Bride Zeta. They look identical, but the difference is this is the more like comfortable version and I do daily the MRS pretty much. Um, so I do want it to be something more comfortable. It is however more aggressive than the SPG that I'm running right now. The shoulder on the Zieg is actually a little bit more narrow than the Bride Zeta and because the MRS is a really small car, this is actually going to be a really good fit um, based on what I've heard. So uh, I'm excited to get this in the car. Let me show you guys what I'm running right now. So what I have right now is my brother's Recaro SPG. It's been a loner seat. Um, I actually ordered a different seat from Japan that still hasn't come in yet. And uh, this, the Bride, the Brid, however, I got for a really good deal, so I ended up picking it up. But I'm replacing the SPG. Uh, gonna put in the Brid seat. Check out the detail on this seat. So the seat is now in the car, and I think it looks amazing. I'm really happy to be back in a red seat. Currently attached to my Neosys seat rails. It's the seat rails I ordered from Kruber in Japan. Here's the current state of my interior. Super clean. Also guys, I'm really loving the low max system. The butt actually sits lower now compared to the SPG that I had on before. And that allows me to see the gauge cluster a lot more clearly. I don't think I've shown you guys this, but I picked up my dream wheels recently. I think like a week before I got this seat, or two weeks ago. And if you guys know me, TE37s are my all-time favorite wheels. I'm really happy to finally have my own. This is the Championship White TE37 SLs. This is the lightest model TEs that are available. And this is a track slash toge project, so had to have them. It's aesthetically very pleasing because I do have a red, black, and white interior going on. Also, haven't updated this with you guys either, but I picked up an HKS exhaust as well. When I first got it, it was really quiet, but I think after breaking it in, it sounds really, really nice and loud right now. And I also purchased rear inserts from the facelift model MRSs. Installed that on my car. That's it for this part of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Woo! What's up guys? So today, I'm out here at my favorite canyon road with a special guest. This is Clint's Lotus Elise. And it's a 2006, 2006 Elise. I'm gonna give you guys a little walkthrough around it. We're actually just kind of chilling in the canyons, cruising, catching some clips right now. So, the Lotus Elise here is actually naturally aspirated. It's literally just a 2ZZ with uh, like I think bolt-ons, right? Yeah, or just an intake, intake and the exhaust system. Intake and exhaust system. Custom uh, exhaust right here. Is it custom intake too or? No, the intake is an ITG, carbon. Oh, okay. Uh, the, the, the headers is a PPE. Ooh, PPE, uh, gotcha. The test pipe, um, you know, which is like a no cap thing, is also PPE. Yeah. And then the muffler in the back is uh, custom made by, um, I don't even know how to say the Instagram name, but by someone on Instagram called Evo Eric. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So right now, Clint's running a staggered setup. It's a uh, 15 by 8, I believe, right? Yeah. 15, 15 by 8. 15 by 8 plus 25 in the front. And then the rear. And the rear is 16 by 8 plus 24. Gotcha. TE37 uh, SLs, man. That's the way. Yeah. Yeah. So... And then this Recaro seat, I forgot which model this one is. This is the Pro Racer SPG. Oh, it's, okay. It's, it's basically the, the full containment version of the SPG. Gotcha. Yeah, guys, I actually had just removed an SPG from my car. And I actually picked up this Brit seat from Clint himself. And this is my new uh, ZH4 that I just put in. That's a little lumbar padding support right there. 
and also picked up TE37 SLs recently as well. TE37 Gang. Yeah, it's a pretty chill day out here in the canyon right now. There's like not a lot of people, just a couple cyclists up on the road, but it is a Monday. So I'm gonna give you guys a little walk, more walk around of this Lotus Elise. This thing is super tracked out. Track monster. I love that it's naturally aspirated and literally the only really real thing here is like aerodynamics, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much full on aero, yeah. yeah. And the suspension, of course. Oh, what suspension are you on? Uh, I'm on Nitron uh, three-way coilovers. Gotcha. Uh, custom valve and uh, running 550 pound front spring rates and 800 pound rear spring rates. Sick. Damn, that's pretty uh pretty aggressive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with the damping, with the whole valve and everything, uh, you know, it, it made it work really well. It's not harsh or anything, it's just it's pretty balanced. I see. Sweet. Yeah, so this is a APR front splitter, APR canards. I think these are like custom? Or? Uh, they're not custom, they're from uh, GRP. Oh, okay. uh, they make the side seals that you see right there. I'll bolt on stuff. Nice. APR wing. And the end plates are APR also? No, the end plate is from, uh, I hope I'm saying it right, it's K's or Kaz spec? Mm. Uh, Kaz spec? I think that's the K-A-A-Z, right? Uh, K-A-Z-E spec, Okay, oh, yeah. Z, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Sweet, man. This is a sick Lotus. And what's the diffuser brand? Uh, or... Die Flow. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, this thing with with all the arrow on this, it just looks so much more vicious than your standard stock Lotus Elise. Way more vicious. And then right now, Clint's currently running in AIM uh, gauge cluster and personal steering wheel. Uh, what shift knob is that? Uh, that sounds just a, a GRP. Yeah, this is a really sweet ride. This is actually the gold car for me. And I was just telling Clint that my MRS is basically the dollar menu version of this. <laughs> <laughs> but we all start somewhere, guys. MRS are great cars, man. MR2s, MRS. Yeah. Both mid-engine, both rear-wheel drive.